PK on the right-hand side, Pantano on the left-hand side. Behind PK is the championship, and is it Piccioni? Is it uh, Clivio Piccioni? One of the DPR directs of cars, hand is waving there. He's back in eight on the eight row of the grid. Well, I don't think he's going to get involved in the start, and I think there's every reason that they could still be able to have this start, because uh, it's Vitaly Petrov, actually, the uh, young Russian driver who's uh, recently arrived at the DPR directs of squad. Problems getting him going. I wonder, will they leave the cars going? They're going to push him to pit lane. I really think they should get this race underway. We hear the revs rise. That's because the red light sequence is underway and the red lights are out and the start of the GP2 feature race in Monza it's underway no wheel spin from PK Jr but does he manage to make as good a start as, as Pantano I don't think so first of all Lewis Hamilton up into second place is he at the head down into the chicane now PK locks up the brakes will he be able to turn it he does he turns it in the lead and he manages to uh, bumble across the chicane he takes the lead will he give it back to uh, Pantano plenty of cars take a similar route doesn't look as if anyone's uh, managed to get caught up great start to and uh, Pantano looks at Pika, has led Pantano by. Pantano takes over the lead of the race from Pika Jr. Hamilton has slotted into third place, or has he? And he because he's coming under threat uh, from Adam Carroll and uh, Alexander Prima. Good start from him too. Frank Pereira up into fourth place. Great reaction on the opening lap of the GP2 feature race. Uh, Hamilton being pushed wide. Hamilton very nearly ran into the back of PK. There was nothing in it. I don't know how he got out of that. He must have had to go across the curb. Hamilton in a defensive mode here. He's been hounded and harried there right behind him. But he was Adam Carroll that was on his gearbox to try to get by him into Lesmo 1 and Lesmo 2. The field beginning to settle down. PK did the right thing. Let Pantano take the lead there. Don't get him embroiled in that battle. Hop it across the curbs. You can hand it back to him later on. You can go across the curbs without dicey. Uh, uh, as long as he didn't take an advantage. Yeah, as yeah. long as he didn't take an advantage. And it was good, sensible uh, running there from PK. He knows he's got the pace. He's right in under the gearbox of Giorgio Pantano. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I think the safety car might be called. If that car stays there and they don't have access to it uh, by uh, lifting... Uh, equipment and they don't be aren't able to push it we could very easily have a safety car well there's a frightening moment as the wheel uh, as, uh, I think it's uh, oh, Fidio Piccioni just jinks away from that errant uh, wheel from the racing engineering car of Adam safety Carroll. car out safety car out that's good. safety car has been deployed and that's a very interesting uh, development for the championship because this will bunch up the field and Giorgio Pantano Nelson Piquet Jr and Lewis Hamilton have all taken the opportunity to head to pit lane Michael Ammermuller will take over the lead of the race the safety car has been deployed uh, we see uh, uh, Pantano locking up the wheels. Uh, David, what's he at there? Uh, two things. Just to go back to Tehinci, first of all. Uh, Tehinci's going to stay on it. Watch him. He wants to make a name for himself. He, he doesn't have... Because uh, he's so, so new to this, I think he's going to not be looking in his mirrors. He wants to stay with the leaders. He's going to make a mistake and go off. That's the first thing. Pantano, I think he's getting his brakes up to temperature. He knows he needs it. He's made a good start, a good run here. An ex-Carter, he held him up and may put his foot on the front. And look at the gap that's already opened up between these two and the rest of the field. PK is still right with him as they go across the start finish line though the race is back underway and uh, Hamilton has he managed to get ahead of Tehinci well he was right alongside but his front wheels weren't ahead of him now he's uh, on the outside into the first corner PK takes the leader does he he runs across the grass and he hasn't managed to make that so he's going to have to give it up to Pantano he knows he's already done it once and he'll let Pantano take it at least they have a decent gap between them so has he lifted off too much and left much of a gap they're uh, in with Glock and Glock scrapping uh, with Pereira no, I think it is, or is it Monfardini, one of the dam's runners anyway, uh, further back as uh, Pantano takes up the lead of the race once more, and once more he's the cool head under pressure into the first corner. Well, fantastic uh, scrap there, uh, six, seven, eight, ninth, and the rest as uh, we're look on board with Timo Glock, and he's looking ahead at uh, Luca Filippi, and what uh, is uh, Filippi managing to do? Well, we're on board with Filippi, actually. No, it is Glock, it's definitely Glock of the uh, iSport team, and uh, a little bit of mistake as the others draw ahead of him and uh, great scraps going on ahead of, of uh, him as uh, Glock running in uh, sixth place and I think that might have been a replay. Yeah, Glock now we're battling through there. Tremendous stuff. Good driver's making a mistake. He touched the brakes past the apex of the corner. Can you imagine That's that? Prima. He's up under the gearbox of Alexander Prima and them. he's going yeah, to he take his them. wing off. He touched them, yeah. What an incredible battle, and uh, Pereira certainly knows how to uh, block left and right and left and right. I thought you could only move once, and after all, that Glock loses out of position, and that must be incredibly frustrating for him. Our Glock really throwing that one away, looking to get by in several places. Lost three or four places there, lost the momentum. This is some very, very rough driving. This is really uncalled for. Some of the drivers weaving across the straight. You take one position and you hold it. That is some very naughty driving. Well, look at that. Uh, Glock looked to uh, try and see what he could do. And the guy, oh, and this just had to end in tears, didn't it? Incredible. And we just missed it. We just went away from the in-car shot of uh, Timo Glock, who was struggling to get it stopped under braking. And I wonder if he didn't, well, wasn't hit from behind. As you say, David, that one definitely had to end in tears. Yeah, that was uh, just a bit rough, really. Oh, there's a wing problem here. Is it for Ammermuller or is it uh, 
Yeah, there's definitely a wing, a little bit askew to say the least, uh, on the uh, Red Bull Arden car of uh, Michael Ammermuller. Ammermuller running in sixth place and dropping back the field. And there's a replay. Timo Glock, who was in the... He, he was uh, scrapping with uh, Jose Maria Lopez, uh, was a Ferris Fosey of the uh, Supernova squad. And then he was attacked in uh, no uncertain terms by Adrian Baez. And uh, really, Timo Glock will be a little bit disappointed, I think, by the driving of Adrian Baez there. Meanwhile, up front, 19 laps completed out of 32. 2.6 seconds now the lead for Giorgio Pantano who put in a couple of quick ones Piquet dropped the ball a little bit while we were watching that last lap around he was one and a half seconds slower than Giorgio Pantano so has he hit these brake problems again has he got some sort of recurring problem that he has to try and uh, avoid at, at all costs and try and prevent from uh, recurring Nelson Piquet Jr well, I can tell you that uh, Piquet Jr is now just 1.7 seconds ahead of Lewis Hamilton and if anything he's giving uh, uh, Piquet is giving Hamilton a toe so that will help uh, Hamilton in his quest to set fastest lap and through the first intermediate split Hamilton is fastest the ball heading towards perhaps another fastest lap and this pretty critical Pantano just winds his way through these final turns in this uh, very important victory uh, if it comes for uh, Giorgio Pantano and it looks as if he just has to uh, work his way through a few more turns and a very co uh, consummate professional organized and a very impressive performance really by Pantano this afternoon uh, what he's managed to do ahead of uh, PK Jr and Hamilton who really have been head and shoulders ahead of the rest in terms of pace throughout the year and uh as we see Giancarlo Fisichella watching from the pit wall, it wasn't such an impressive qualifying performance for him. He qualified 10th, but uh, he'll take so, uh, some pleasure uh, from the afternoon in the performance of Giorgio Pantano as he goes through the final turn and uh, heads out and across the start finish stripe to take victory in the GP2 feature race. It's a fabulous win fastest lap. Giorgio Pantano, who takes fastest lap from Lewis Hamilton on the last lap of the race. Well, has Hamilton been able to respond? That's very interesting. <laughs> across the start finish line, PK finishes second. Lewis Hamilton Hamilton finishes in third place and would you believe it not only does Giorgio Pantano take the uh, win but he takes fastest lap on the last lap of the race and that means that the scrap goes on to the final race of the year tomorrow and that uh, well uh, a great relief for Nelson Piquet Jr. there because Lewis Hamilton lost the point for fastest lap there and that means that uh, Piquet lives to fight at least one more day. We'll watch out for Giorgio Pantano from eighth place, Nelson Piquet from seventh and Lewis Hamilton from sixth. Uh, can they charge through towards the front of affairs. The red lights are on. The GP2 sprint race in Monza is underway. 21 laps remaining, and Hiroki Yoshimoto's made an absolutely dreadful start. Reasonable one from Piccioni, but work at that from Hamilton. Hamilton absolutely rockets up into second place, and uh, uh, further back we see problems uh, for uh, one of the other runners, and uh, through the first they fleet, it streams through, but there's problems, and there's problems as cars are, uh, all, all over the place, and uh, major difficulties as we see one of the dam's runners. It's uh, it's uh, Frank Pereira of the uh, Dams team, the Frenchman, and no luck for him. But what a fantastic start by Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, quite amazing. The way he just leaps through, all the way through. And uh, Pantano, right, of course. And Pantano, yeah. even, even better. What were the others doing? I mean, where did it all come from? Desperate defence here from Nicolas Lapierre. He's got Nelson Piquet Jr. on his tail, running in fifth place. And Piquet looks to go around the outside, on the brakes, into that corner. Fantastic effort from Piquet. He's now up into fourth place. So he's making inroads. He got past Brima. He got past Lapierre. He's up into fourth place. I think he went down the grass at the start. That was Adam on the grass. You saw they clipped the wall. I think it's damaged the rear suspension a bit, so he's spinning there. And look at this, PK. He blazes down on the brakes. There's no way he's going to get it stopped. It certainly was a big effort to get past Clivio Piccioni, but he misses out the chicane altogether, and he's just going to have to give that place back to uh, Piccioni. It's the same routine from yesterday, Nelson. He did exactly the same thing in the uh, feature race yesterday. He gives that position back to Piccioni. Hamilton's right with Pantano now. There's uh, absolutely nothing in it between the two. Hamilton fastest lap last lap round as you say four tenths of a second quicker than Giorgio Pantano big problem for Hamilton just as we say he's lining him up and what does he do he drives off the track Could, would you believe it when he managed to bumble his way back on but he's given up a huge amount of uh, time and space to Giorgio Pantano and now Clivio Piccioni and uh, Nelson Piquet Jr. will be bearing down on the new champion so Lewis Hamilton coming under threat just as he uh, tries to clean up his tyres and gather up his thoughts we get a replay there David into the second Lesmo 2 corner you're into that at about 120 miles an hour your slowest section there is about 115. He just gets a little bit sideways, opposite 
Ford locks it out, puts it out onto the dirt, but once you're on the gravel, you just got to let the car slide out, take the power off, and just crawl your way back on. Certainly is. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit further back, Nicolas Lapierre running in sixth place at the moment in the final point scoring position as we get a uh, replay of Ferris Fosey, and uh, that was the uh, spin, and that's what took Adam Carroll, the spin that we saw a little bit earlier on. Now, I understand uh, Adam Carroll, as we look again into the first corner, Pique has made a big mistake. That's his bogey corner, and Pique spins, trying to get it stopped. Piccioni wasn't giving it up, and now uh, first in the championship has had a spin, second in the championship has had a spin, and Pique resumes back in seventh place, I think, because we've seen Lapierre and, uh, well, Prima, then Lapierre, then uh, Yoshimoto managed to uh, stream by, I believe. Here we see it. It's the only thing he could do, otherwise he was going to hit the car. He had to get out of it, had to turn the wheel on, just get the lock on, and uh, just drift the car sideways. Unfortunately, it turned into a spin. And also, look at Piccioni. Piccioni saw him and actually very wisely took his foot off the brake and let the car run wide. So Piccioni got out of that one, but Piquet didn't. Um, well, to a degree, Piquet did and didn't damage its car. But that's where it scuppered his chances now of being able to get take the battle to Hamilton. It was never on, was it? I mean, it looks, uh, you know, it was just a... It was close. It was close enough. And he had to try and put the pressure on. He couldn't sit there. It was a free race, as Gary said. There's no pressure on. You've just got to go for it. If you can't win, he wants to beat Hamilton, the man that's won the championship. He wants to show that he's as quick, if not quicker than him. He's Here's Hamilton, sorry, having a look down the inside. Sorry, David. Uh, yep. Hamilton down the inside, but uh, just came out from under the gearbox of Giorgio Pantano for a little look. Nothing he could do there. And uh, now uh, Lewis Hamilton is discovering what Nelson Piquet did yesterday, that uh, Pantano is not easily phased by the reputation of this young Mercedes-sponsored driver. And the pace as well that he's got. He's looking now again into the second chicane. Is there an opportunity here? He's in oh, trouble. Oh, big lock up by uh, Lewis Hamilton, and he runs across the chicane. He's going to have to give that one up. Bantano, well, he was very cool, calm, and collected. Big lock up by Lewis Hamilton, and, uh, well, he very briefly took the lead of the race. He had to, uh, and he understood that he had to give it up, and indeed he's given up a little bit of distance to uh, Giorgio Pantano, who's not uh, affected by that, and Lewis Hamilton's trying to gather up his thoughts and uh, see if his car is performing to the same uh, ability as it was. Here we see in the second Chicane doing just again on 300. He knew he was going to hit him. He had to come off the brakes and dive down the inside. Pantano, very wise, just let him go by, held back and and and, and got, got him again. A tremendous bit of driving, actually, by Pantano. Yeah, good effort by Pantano to avoid that, Gary. Yeah, it was really. I mean, obviously, look at the mirrors there, but it's amazing he didn't come across a little bit just to try and block him. But yeah, good, good, uh, intelligent. Uh, I suppose driving, you call it, just to keep himself out of trouble, knowing that uh, there's no way that he could get in there at that speed. So, uh, yeah, good good one. And uh, it looks as if Hamilton is uh, on the gearbox of uh, Pantano still, but what can he do is he's through the final chicane, heading towards Parabolica. There's just one long, long right-hander left, and uh, it is a uh, very long and tortuous and difficult technical corner uh, for the drivers. Quite a quick one, too, and Hamilton looks to jink out of the slipstream. It's never been done before. Has it been done? It hasn't been done in a while. An overtaking manoeuvre at Parabolica and uh, Lewis Hamilton desperately trying to do it, but uh, Giorgio Pantano is going to hang on to finish this season in style with a double. He punches the air in delight as he takes victory in the GP2 uh, sprint race in Monza from Lewis Hamilton, who goes over to the pit wall to take the uh, accept the plaudits of his team, AORT Grand Prix. So great effort from those two drivers. Third place, Givio Piccioni. He completes the podium finishers. A good finish to the season uh, for the Monegasque for DPR Directive. In fourth place, Nicolas Lapierre, Hiroki Yoshimoto fifth and the final point is taken by the runner-up in the championship uh, uh, Nelson Piquet Jr.